Welcome to class six. This is the very last class we have in this entire course. And I want to use these next few lessons to talk about how to take the skills we've learned to this point and combine them together. Putting these tricks and techniques we've learned, for example, how to choose good keywords, how to use operators like file type or minus or or, and if you put them all together and you adopt a working style, which is to dig more deeply each time, then you'll be a great searcher. And that's the point of this whole course. So let's talk a little bit about how to combine these different things we've learned. And let me start with a really interesting problem. Suppose that you're looking for Google Earth tours, that is KMZ files, that are showing shipwrecks around Florida, but we've already seen the ones from floridamarine.org and the jacobs.org. Okay, these are two different sites that have lots of KMZ files. How do we do that? How would we find the tours that are out there for shipwrecks? So what you want to think about now is what are going to be the good keywords, the salient keywords, the ones that are going to keep you on topic. And then how will we modify the query to make it better and better? Let's try this. The first query I would try would probably be file type colon KMZ. So I limit it to just the KMZ files. And then I would search for the search terms shipwrecks or the phrase ship space rex. So I'm looking for both versions of that. And then I would add the word Florida because there could be shipwrecks anywhere, right? So let's do that. File type colon KMZ shipwrecks or shipwrecks Florida. And here's our result. We have a lot of results here, about 345. Um, but remember, we wanted to get them not from floridamarine.org or the other one. So let's look at what we want to reduce it to. Remember, we want to get rid of the results from floridamarine.org and the Jacobs because we've already done those. Okay, so now I'm going to modify the query. Because remember this about Google, you can keep trying things. It's a really iterative process. And remember that you don't have to get it right the first time. You can spend some time and modify the query. I, and I do that a lot. For example, in this one, I would modify it like this. I would add the minus site colon floridamarine.org and the minus site colon. Remember, no space between the minus and the site. So let's go try that for real. So now I'm going to do minus site colon floridamarine.org. And you can see we went from 345 results down to 143 results. So we've cut it in about half. We can keep modifying it. We can keep adding additional things, additional uh, minus site restrictions. But you get the idea. We could even modify it like this. So I could say file type colon KMZ or file type KML because those are two different forms of the same idea. Shipwrecks or shipwrecks with the space, Florida or FL because FL is the US code for the state of Florida. You see what I'm doing here. What I'm trying to do is to give you the idea that you can take your initial query and modify it and keep sort of iterating it until you get to exactly the kinds of results you want. That's why I usually start with a short query and add terms in, add new expressions, new restrictions, and so on as I'm going through my search process. What I'd like you to do now is to click on the next arrow and go on and do this activity and see how far you get. You should be able to do it now. We only have two more lessons to go and we're getting close to drawing all of this together. Enjoy.